Hi, beautiful. Get ready to thank me after you watch this video because I'm about to show you how to get that salon quality, fabulous, voluminous, bodyful blowout look at home on your own hair using only a flat iron. Yes, I'll be showing you guys how to do this look on both straight and curly hair. It's gonna be super simple, super easy to follow. And a special thanks to Dyson for sponsoring today's video. I will be using the Dyson Corral Straightener to do these styles and if you don't know what that is well girl it's a wireless flat iron and it's iconic and i've been using it for months so with that all said let's get it started if you guys are ready i'm ready we are gonna need obviously a flat iron and today i will obviously be using my dyson corral this is her, this is what she looks like. I've reviewed her before. You'll also need either a brush or a comb of any sort, some clips, some smaller clips if you have them, or like these kind of clips, the little tiny ones, these are also great. And if you don't have those, you can also use bobby pins. And lastly, for our curly girls, you're gonna need a blow dryer. And I swear it's very, very, very minimal blow drying, but we gotta get those curls out somehow. It's easy, I promise. And it, yes, it's mostly just flat iron work. Don't come at me on that one. So we have our Miss Manny Quinn today and we are going to prep her. We're gonna do a little oil. It just seals those ends and makes them so damn shiny and healthy and vibrant and beautiful. We're gonna put some heat protectant in because we don't want heat damage, even though the Corral helps with that a lot. You can never be too protected. And we're gonna brush that all through and we're just gonna put a little bit of smoothing cream in there. I like creams for the upper half of the hair and oils for the lower. That way we get that heavy hydration on the ends and a little bit of a lighter hydration on the top. I can't stress enough how important it is to use good products when styling your hair it'll make it so much smoother and healthier and shinier and that's when you get that real salon quality look I am going to do a mohawk section, you guys. And this is just from like the center of the eyebrow back to the apex of the head, which is the highest point. Boom, boom, bang, bang. There you go, it's just a little rectangle, or a large rectangle up on the top of her head. Then you can just clip the rest behind you. Now let's begin the process of making your hair look like it's blown out when it's not at all. It's actually just flat iron. We're gonna grab the Corral right here and it's on its charging station, which is so handy because every time I put it down, it just charges again. So it really never loses battery life. Of course, guys, there's no cord on here. That's the best part. It's so good for my job too as a professional hairdresser because anywhere I take it, it. Even if there's not an outlet next to me, I can just take it off the charging station wherever it is set around me and just use it And there's no need to plug it in So we're gonna turn this on just the button right here and press the plus button We're gonna go down to 365 degrees. She already has quite straight hair and she doesn't need that really strong heat at 410 We're trying to protect the hair and prolong the life of it and make sure it stays healthy at all times This flat iron is great at balancing the heat distribution throughout the plates So you never get like hot spots on the hair our first section, we're gonna take kind of like a zigzag section up here and we're gonna cut this into three eventually, but this is our first section right in the back. We want nice volume back here, so that's what we're gonna do. And the iron already has heat up. It took literally 30 seconds. Take our iron off the dock and I am going to go like this. So what's really happening here is we're just kind of trying to heat up the section. This doesn't need to be perfect because after we're gonna pin it into place. With flat irons, I like to do slow passes because it is just so much more effective. You don't need to run the iron through the hair super, super fast. I see so many people doing that and it's not right. After we did that, just ravel it up in our hands and then we are just gonna take a couple of pins or bobby pins if you have them or any kind of pins. We're just gonna go right in there and that is our first section. That's pretty much how I would do a blowout but I'm doing it with a flat iron and it's honestly just a lot easier. So we're gonna do the next section and we are going to do this one also the same way. Now, another really cool part about the corral is that the plates are flexible. See how there's little ridges in the plates here? Well, these actually bend around the hair so that the heat is distributed properly instead of it all just being a hard surface. So it's super cool. And you can actually plug it into the iron, the core, but that would be kind of not as cool. So we're gonna go through this second section now and we're just heating it up and adding a slight bend to the end. And we're just taking our time and going 
slowly. Now, every time I put the iron down, it is going to charge it a little bit. That way, it never dies through this entire look. Our next section is this beautiful front section over here. And we are going to bring it up at the root because we want that volume. Go in towards the face, just like that. Just two very soft passes. Boom, we have tons of volume in there as you can see. And we are just gonna wrap that around my hand and just pin it into place. Doesn't need to be perfect. And mine's just flopping down a little bit, but who cares? We did the two in the back going backwards and one going forward. You're getting so much shine here. It feels so silky smooth. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna move on to these sides. So for her, her head's not that large. I'm gonna be doing two sections on both sides of her head. So I'll start on the bottom and work my way up. And this is going to go this way. If you guys see any steam coming from the iron, that does not mean the iron is burning the hair. It's a common misconception. It's actually just steaming the product. This iron gives me just beautiful grip. I initially thought that the iron was snagging on the hair, but I actually just wasn't taking large enough sections. This can actually handle a lot because the plates flex. You don't get any snagging. And you can even hear on the mic right now that there's nothing snagging. So you live and you learn. Thank you, Dyson, for teaching me that. And now I understand. The other big concern I had was that it is heavy. And I mean, of course, the iron's going to be heavier because it has a large battery in it, but you truly do get used to it. Plus, you kind of just don't give a because the iron is cordless. And I would rather get a little muscle and a little workout while I'm ironing rather than have a cord wrapping around my feet, tripping me. Pick and choose your battles, guys. So I'm just doing one pass on the sides here. Super simple. Then just wrapping it up and letting it cool down. We're already more than halfway done and that was like five minutes. All right, next up, we're gonna section this back into two and then also into another two back here. So we'll do that next. And we'll be going inwards with the curls back here. And that's what I mean by inwards. It's kind of going back and in. And on this next section, we will do the curls going towards the face, the opposite direction of the last one. That will create nice body and a way for the curls underneath to sit on top of the curls on top without the curls combining all together and creating a clump of curls because we don't want that. That's what it looks like, one going back, one going forward. Okay, so that is the entire thing complete and we still have more than half battery. Just because the battery only lasts 30 minutes doesn't mean you can't do a full look in 30 minutes. And if you set it on this while you're doing the hair, it'll last you so long. We're just gonna spray this all around with some light hold hairspray. And we're gonna let this cool for about 15 to 20 minutes and we will be back to take out the sections and reveal the final look. It's gonna look so sexy, I already know it, I already know it, I'm so excited. Oof. We have let it cool down and she's looking fabulous. Like, look at that. See what happens when you set just a little bevel in the hair with a flat iron? It's gonna look even better when we comb it out. And guys, as I'm taking this out, I'm just gonna do a little like teasing moment because why not, you know? Just add a little more fluff in there. Okay, so we're taking out the last section. Oh, look at the shine on you. You look so good. Okay, we're gonna do a little tease up here. Look at the volume. So I'm gonna go in with a bore bristle brush and I'm just gonna gently brush this out just to release some of that curl because I don't want it to be curly. I want it to be voluminous. It looks like she just got the most voluminous, fabulous blowout, and it was all done with a flat iron. It really sets the look in place and it gives it so much movement. It's so much easier than picking up the brush and the blow dryer and just going in like a million times and trying to get it warmed up to then curl. When you could just do one pass and then pin it up and it looks like this. And if this is even too curly for you, you can keep brushing it and it'll quickly fall down if you just add some moisture from your hands. See, so you can get this very like flattened 
kind of blowout. And I honestly think this looks better than a blowout. Like it has so much more shine at the bottom and so much more wave. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. She looks so good. And then maybe she can just do this and get all f***ed up at night and just be like, hi guys, like, yeah, it's like, whatever. And then she'd be like, yeah, no, I didn't really spend a lot of time doing my hair. Like I just like ran a flat iron through it and like, yeah, you know, it's like not a big deal. And then she just like starts walking on the street and she's like, hey, b and she's like, hey, b now that we've done the straight hair, I'm gonna show you how to do it on the curly hair. And it's very, 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 very similar. And it's just as easy with one tiny extra step. Okay, so we have our next girl here. Hi, Miss Manny Quinn. You look different today. You got curlier hair, huh? So we are going to just dampen this with a little bit of water. We're just gonna release these curls. I'm also just gonna add a little bit of leave-in conditioner to make it easier for me to rake through those curls. What I'm gonna first do is take my brush and just work it down the hair and blow dry behind it to just release some of the curl, not to get it straight. It's still gonna be very frizzy, but that's totally fine. And I'm blow drying the hair forward and around. That way if we blow dry forward and then pull it all back, she has great volume. Okay, so here's where we wanna be at at this point. We will do all the other work with the flat iron, of course. So we're gonna now spray in uh, some, some heat protectant since I forgot. Oops, don't come at me guys, I'm sorry. Let's do the same thing we did before with the oil. I'm gonna use a, quite a bit of oil on her ends just cause they're quite dry. And a whole lot of moisturizing cream. Now, I'm gonna take my Corral and turn this baby on. It is fully charged again after I blow dried and did all that with her. We're gonna go to 410 because she has more coarse hair and I want a good amount of heat on her hair. But it, this is definitely not gonna fry her hair off. I've seen irons go way higher and that's a little concerning, but 410 is gonna be perfect for her. I could probably even get away with 365, but I'm only doing one or two passes on her hair, so it'll be fine. We'll do the same sectioning we did before. Our sections will be just a tiny bit smaller this time. Let's get those roots nice and straight first. And we'll do the same thing where we bring it forward and just give it a slight little bevel. Let's go on to the second section. I'm probably gonna do four this time instead of three. One of the coolest things about this iron is that it like can take the largest sections and it doesn't slip. You know how sometimes you use your irons and all the hair falls out of it? I don't even need to use a comb and it doesn't fall out. I'm gonna go on the front piece doing that forward first. Just gonna pull it straight up and do those roots. Okay, so I just finished the top part of the hair. Now let's move on to the sides and we'll do the same thing we did before and we'll just do two sections on the side. That's totally fine, we're gonna do that. So the temperature on the corral is actually regulated 100 times a second. So most flat irons obviously have heat controls. The heat throughout the iron is not regulated at all and can vary a lot. So you don't really know if you're getting 410 or 510 or whatever. And sometimes it can get really, really hot. So the corral does a great job of regulating that. That way you can use the iron at a lower temperature and get better heat control and get less damage on your hair. To be honest with you guys, obviously the $500 price tag can be a little scary looking. I do think it is worth the $500 investment. It's going to last you so many years. I mean, first of all, your clients take you more seriously when you have better tools and when you have the latest technology, they appreciate you really caring for your hair and investing in the tools that are actually proven to work. For me, I definitely need this in my toolkit forever and you guys always see me using it on my channel. So as a professional, really investing in your tools is so much more worth it than buying cheap stuff that's only gonna last a year and then having to buy it over and over again. You end up spending more money and getting worse results. All right, we're moving on to the back. It's looking so shiny and healthy already. It's okay also to leave a tiny bit of wave or curl pattern in your root area because it'll actually give you more volume that lasts longer. So we don't wanna make the roots totally slippery smooth and like completely pin straight or else the look just falls way too fast. Dude, the way these plates flex around the hair is just the coolest thing to me. I don't even have to hold it. 
So we're looking fabulous here. We're gonna do the same thing where we just spray a little bit of hairspray and let it cool down. And I'll be back to take it all out and reveal the final look. Mm. All right, so I just put a little bit of oil on my hands to add some hydration as I take these curls out. Let's see what we got. Uh... Okay, let's gently comb this out. I'm gonna use my hands for this one. That way we don't get any added frizz. And boom, there we have it. She is looking fresh, blown out, gorgeous, fabulous, chic. If she walks in the wind, she's gonna be like, whoosh. I like her with more movement. She looks fun, sexy, fierce, and that only took maybe 15 minutes. For this to be what it looks like after only 15 minutes, starting from where we were before, I'm pretty impressed with myself and the flat iron. So there you guys have it. That is how to get that blown out salon fresh hair at home using only a flat iron. And it's super simple. It took me literally like 10 minutes for the straight hair and 15 for the curly hair. It's a great way to make your hair look super well done, even if it took you no time at all. And thank you again, Dyson, for sponsoring today's video and letting me share more about this wonderful piece of technology that I love so much. And if you guys would like to purchase a Dyson Corral of your own, own, you can visit Dyson.com slash Dyson Pro Hair to learn more. You can also call 866-861-2565. And make sure you have a valid stylist license to get the professional discount. The link is in the description box right down below. All right, you guys. So you know the deal. Don't forget to subscribe right down below. Click the like button and the bell icon to be notified when I post. You can also text this number and I will keep you updated with everything in my life. I'll be texting some of you guys back if you text right now. So hit up that number right here. Yes, it is really Really my number. Yes, it really does go to my phone. Follow me everywhere else. These are all my social media handles. Ooh, 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 have fun. Make sure you guys check out Xmondo Hair at xmondohair.com. It is linked below. Or you can check us out on Instagram at xmondohair. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Ariana. Ariana says, I'm extremely pale and love bright, fun colors. I was just wondering what color you think we best for my complexion. This is my current hair, which is a split dye with Arctic Fox Blue and Purple. Okay, honestly, I don't mean to be so boring, but I love your hair and I think you should keep it just like this. I I don't know what else to say. You look amazing. I love it. If you did anything else, maybe a lime green would look really good, but I love what you have going on, so keep it. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.